this is what I mean. Like, it doesn't want to stay straight, I don't think, my hair. I genuinely believe that someone, when they made me, someone, mum and dad, when mum and dad made me and they were picking out the little jeans and stuff, they were decided, oh, actually, we're going to get hair that just flicks and doesn't stay straight. Cheers, mum and dad. Love you, Hans. Hello, Hans. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then, oh, my God, this is really exciting. Thank you for finding me. And I'm doing a makeup tutorial. So if you found me and you're actually watching me do a makeup tutorial, then, wow, I'm trying to get better at makeup. This is all very exciting. And if you're my OGs out there, then thanks for coming back, home buns. I'm going to recreate this look. I actually really like it. I did it. I've done it. I've actually done this makeup look. I did it for a night out. I'm not going on a night out, humbuns. I wish I was going on a night out, but it's raining outside and I'm telling you now, this straight hair would never stay straight in the rain. If I go outside in the rain and my hair is straight, it goes like that. Woo! And I'm like, oh, thank you. I look like that little girl from the Grinch. I love that. So, Huns, we're gonna go from zero to 100. Trying to get to 100. We're trying to get to 100. So, we're gonna start from the beginning, do the eyes, do whatever we've got to do. So, if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, I try a few new products out as well. Whoop to the whoop. I'll let you know down below how they were. I'll link everything I use below. I'll link this top. It's actually a swimsuit, so you know. I'll link this blazer. I'll link these hoops. Chillin'. Ch 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 chillin'. Ch 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 checkin' it out. What is that song? <laughs> Isn't it a Disney Channel song? Maybe. Maybe not. What's it? Ch 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 checkin' it. Anyway. Okay. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, listen to a few stories, see how weird I am, then please keep watching! Mustang Story! Love me, Janine. I, I know, know you, you do. You're trying to my phone, get off! <laughs> you need two impressions, you're so sick, I can't. I actually can't. <laughs> I love you, Jake. Must. Mustang <laughs> Hello, little humbuns, okay? So let's start. Also, do you like the little ears? How cute are they? Did I take the label off? Yeah, I did. Got them from Forever 21, didn't I? I think they were like £3.99. <sighs> also, someone mentioned I didn't have any pillows in the background last time, and I didn't because I take them off. But I put some pillows there anyway. But I want to get some nice ones so they look like little butterfly wings. These ones don't, they're too small. So I'm going to get some naff pillows. But what colours shall I get? Really excited. I get to use my Zen palette. And also, Huns. I went and bought so many new makeup brushes because I thought, listen, oh, I've messed up the whole order now. Oh, no. I put them all out nice and flat. Ready? Because i got my table set up back again. I'm going to use my Z palette today. This is really exciting. So, let me get the names of them because you know when you pop them in there. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Sidekick and Frappe from Makeup Geek. I'm going to take my Morphe M441. It's a new brush. It's brand new and clean. And we're just going to go into my... Oh, I should do one eye first, shouldn't I? Well done, Imogen. I'm going to do one eye and I'll get back to you, Humbuns. Okay, Miss, you're ready. Little Humbuns, I'm back. So, let's start. I just did that eye and I'm really hoping it goes right on the other eye. Taking Frappe and Sidekick from Makeup Geek. What brush did I use? I'm gonna take that on my M441. I'm just gonna go into the crease. I did this for a night out the other night. It went really well. Put it on my Snapchat. I was so proud of it. I was like, oh my God, that blend. The blend is so real. And now I'm a little bit nervous in case it doesn't go right again because I thought, oh my God, I'm actually finally improving with my makeup skills. Now what if it goes bad for my Huns? They're gonna think I'm rubbish. We're gonna get this right, but I actually think that looks quite nice. Wait until the finished look and it does actually look quite nice, I promise. I promise you. Okay, so we're just gonna take this in our creasy crew crew. Little creasy. Little crease dies. Honestly, I couldn't stop thinking about it last night because I was like, is it going to go right? You never know. Okay, we're just going to take this, by the way, into the inner corner as well. We're going to attempt to cut that creasy crew in emoji. Emoji. Is my hair all over the shop? Then we're going to take the Sigma E40 and we're going to go into, oh, which one was this? I just got the name of it, Bitten. And we're going to go into the crease, but not going up. So I watched, oh, I'm not even doing it right. So I watched Patrick Starr the other day, right? Love Patrick Starr. And he told me, well, he didn't tell me. I act like he told me. But he told me, no, he didn't tell me. He said, when you're blending, you're meant to hold the end a little bit more. Because I hold there and then like, does anyone else's hand get really stiff? And you're like, it's hurt my arm. And you feel like you're getting muscles from just blending. So hold at the end. That's what Patrick says. Good old Patrick lad. Patrick lad. Patrick lad. Patrick Starr is the most famous for Nickelodeon. Patrick Starr, the makeup guru. Oh, Patrick. Spongebob. Is that his last name, Patrick Spar? So? <laughs> Shut up, really? Yeah, Patrick. Oh my god, that's such a sick name to have. Although I'm not, I wasn't really a fan of Spongebob, was I? When I was younger, I didn't actually like cartoons. I always wanted to watch Pretty Woman. What else did I want to watch, Ranty? My best friend's wedding, Pretty Woman. And I remember once, apparently my dad, I don't remember it, but apparently my dad walked in and I was watching Pretty Woman. And my mum saw I was watching it. And my dad was like, get this off, what's she watching that for? My mum was like, oh, she likes films. She doesn't like cartoons, Ben. <sighs> oh, God, maybe that's why I'm such a weirdo. I was watching adult films at the age of, like, four. Ha, <laughs> ha. We watched American Pie with the family once. Yeah. And there you go. That's why we're all weird. Okay, I love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. 
Love you. Also another story about films. I remember we went to watch The Grinch when I was younger and I went with my mum and her friend Sharon. And wait, should I start? Yeah, let me go to the next. I'm gonna go into the colour Cherry Cola with my NYX 16 brush and just deepen that crease further. Listen, this is a funny story. So I went to see The Grinch when I was younger and I went with my mum and her best friend Sharon. Love Actually was on at the time. This is really naughty and really cheeky. Apologise, Odeon. Or actually, was it Cine World? Down at the marina in Brighton. Anyway, whatever one I went to, it's irrelevant. But we snuck out of the Grinch because I didn't like it at the time. I love the Grinch now. I love the Grinch now. But my mum, I don't know why, we snuck out and went to watch Love Actually and I was young. And then they start swearing in it. There's loads of nudity. There's loads of nudity in Love Actually. And my mum was sitting there like, oh my God, did I actually bring her into this? We snuck in there. It's the same price for a ticket, isn't it? But I was underage. Can you imagine Imogen? Maybe that's why I'm such a weirdo. <gasps> oh my god, I was exposed to too much as a kid. I blame you, my parents. I blame you. Putting the finger at you. Anyway, ignore me. <gasps> I'm so weird. I'm joking. I love my parents so much. And also, I love being weird. I love being weird. I love it. I'm gonna go with an M504 and just go back in there and sort of blend those two shades slash three slash four shades together. Woo woo. Dun dun dun. Time to cut that little crease. I'm really scared, I'm really scared. I'm gonna try and get as close to the camera slash mirror as I can. I feel far away from you because I feel like I'm looking down all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Light Ivory. I find this easiest to carve my crease out. Listen, this isn't gonna be a nice cut crease. This isn't gonna be a nice cut crease, but can you see you don't see the cut crease anyway? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even have to be precise. It doesn't have to be. If you're amazing at cut creases, then holler at you, girl, because you can teach me. I'm just gonna... I'm in like this. Do you see I was going like that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 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 See? What is wrong with me? Am I alright? Not really. Let's just blend that out like that. There you go. Easily done. Let's look down. I like to tilt my head back and then just sort of brush down and then brush along. Our knee bees. Cut that little crease together. Oh, get it all over your face, Simo. <laughs> Let's be honest. If you want to know how to do makeup, you wouldn't be watching me anyway, but I'm getting better at makeup. I am getting better at makeup. Stop talking, Imogen. This crease is going to go everywhere. I'm actually trying to improve, honeys. I'm trying to improve for all of you. I feel like we'll get on this journey together, and then in like a year, you'll be like, Imogen, you're sick at makeup. And I'm like, no, I'm so sick. One can dream. I just find that this is a really easy way to apply it. Okay, then we're not going to look up because that little crease, oh God, I know this looks really awkward, but we're not going to look up because then it's going to move around, isn't it? So what colour am I going to take here? I'm going to take from Makeup Geek. The shade Sorbet. Oh, can't find the brush. Where are you, humbuns? What brush did I use? Where are you, baby girl? Did I use this one? No, I didn't. Which brush did I use? Oh, there. Okay. I'm going to take the Zoeva 227 Luxe Fan Brush with the shade Sorbet from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to set that so it doesn't transfer. Bad cut creases. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I won't zoom you in any further because you'll see how bad it actually is. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Sorbet. Oh, I love a good sorbet, me. I do like nice sorbets in the summer. Aren't they just so refreshing? Sometimes ice creams are a bit heavy on my stomach in the summer. I want something light, I want something refreshing. Isn't that the best thing about being on holiday when you get like an ice cold drink and you're like, yes to that. I don't like fizzy drinks, so when I'm on holiday, I love to have a nice juice. <gasps> I love a good juice. Favorite juice on holiday, peach juice. Do you know why? Do you know what it tastes like? Imogen, stop doing this. You don't need any more of that, do you? We got a cream. Do you know why I like peach juice? Because it tastes quite like, do you ever get those pots of fr fruit cocktail and um, you can get like peaches in a tin? It always tastes like the juice from that and I'm like, I like that juice. I used to literally drain the juice when I was younger. I'll save the fruit cocktail and have a tiny bit of juice in the fruit cocktail pot, but I just drink the juice. Not straight from the tin, but you know what I mean. Stop talking. I will, in a second. Okay, so look how beautiful this colour is. Can we talk about it? Before my vegan huns out there, this one's vegan. And this is the pressed eyeshadow from Sugar Pill. And it's called Butter Cupcake. Butter Cupcake? Yeah, Butter Cupcake. I really like these eyeshadows. I want to get a few more because they come in such a big pan. Love the big pan. Bought this one from Beauty Bay. I'll link it below anyway. Love it. Love it. And it's so bright. It's so bright and pigmented. I love it. So I'm going to take my Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm going to pat this in the corner. Not in the corner, in the middle. Just pat. In the centre third. See? And I love them because they've got loads of bright colours. Cheap as well for a big pan like that. Cheap. Well, not cheap, but not as expensive as something, you know. Like, I don't know. Anastasia Beverly Hills, maybe. This is not a very nice angle for you to see, is it, Hans? Lean a bit more forward. Can you see me better now? 
Hello, love you. You can build up that colour as much as you want for the desired effect. I hope this is okay, Hans. I'm trying here. We're gonna do this together. Jake is going on holiday today and I'm gonna miss him so much. Like, I feel really sad. I'm gonna be lost without him. Nice and yellow, isn't it? Can you see that? Yes. And we're gonna go back with those first two colours, Sidekick and don't remember what the name was. Bitten. That wasn't. Oh! Awesome. Oh! <laughs> Sidekick and frappe, and we're just going to go at the edge here to blend out the outer corner and darken it a bit and go into the crease, building up that colour, patting it kind of thing. Do you think I'm crazy, honeybees? I am. Then we're going to go back with bitten and no, is my memory all right? Cherry cola. Don't know. Too many things in my brain. These two, huns. We're going to go and deepen that a little bit further. Ew. No. I'm going to get changed at the end as well, huns. Watch me. Watch me. Now watch me whip. Can't do it on the chair. Nay, nay. Jake to be? Yep. You're back. Rotty. Rotty. Then we're going to go back in with our little sorbet, cute little sorbet, on our Sigma E55. And just take this into the inner corner, Huns. There you go. What do I even call this? Don't know, Huns. Don't even know. You. Jake is watching me like you're a weirdo. <laughs> you know. Does anyone else make really weird faces when they do makeup? I actually make the weirdest face. I'm like that. Are you talking about your resting? No, I don't. I do my. I do this face all the time. This is our face. Like, if I'm running and I'm out of breath, I'm like that. Honestly, it's the weirdest face. Hugo does it. Hugo says he doesn't do it, but he does. It's come from Dad originally. Jacob doesn't do it because he's got more of a long face. But we do this all the time. Like when I'm watching films, I'm like, it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I can't believe I'm telling you it. <laughs> you call it the resting Ben face. The resting Ben face. Then I'm gonna go in with my M504 just to blend that all out. Then. I'm gonna go off camera, put some mascara on. We can put some mascara on together. Then I put my lashes on off camera. Well, not off camera, but I'm gonna pause it. I'm going to pause it. Love this mascara, except when I get it all over my face. It's all right, that's what face wipes are there for. But I do love this mascara from L'Oreal. It's really good for bottom lashes as well, which we'll be using in a second. <laughs> I've zoomed you out, Huns. We'll do the under eye in a bit, but we did too. I hope they match. Gosh, you never know, do you? And only in the viewfinder, it looks all right. And then I see it up close and I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna take the Stila One Step Prime. This is the first impression because I've never used this one before. Do I, should I just put it on my finger? Put it on my finger, we're gonna put it on my palm. That's not my palm, is it? Yeah, it is my palm. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Preps, smooths and nourishes. I swear on my life, this feels so nice. Especially when you get your hair caught up in it. Well done, Imogen. This feels really nice. Obviously, I've had nipple cream on my lips, you know that. You know about that nipple cream life, and if you don't, get nipple cream from Boots, and it makes your skin feel so soft. Oh my God, look, it's so hydrating. A tiny bit more for that forehead, that five head. Wee. Love having a big forehead, though. When I was younger, I hated it, but you know what? It's a sign of intelligence. A big forehead is a sign of intelligence. That's what my mum and dad tell me anyway. Hey, hum so I'm gonna take my L'Oreal, it's not even L'Oreal, well done. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Fit Me 220, just put this directly onto my face. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. Well done, Imogen. I'm take my L'Oreal. Now I'm gonna take L'Oreal. Infallible in the shade 24. We're running out of this. This one's extremely matte and the other one's extremely dewy. So we're gonna mix the two. I even wet my beauty blender. That's what I need to do. Okay, now we're good to go. Mix that around a bit. I'm gonna use one of these 3D beauty blenders by Sigma. Oi, oi. No, I'm not. Didn't wanna do that. Didn't wanna do it. Didn't even wanna do it. I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> What are you doing, Imogen? We'll use what we've got on our beauty blender for the moment here. Let's pat that on, but I found a brush I really liked using at the moment, so I'll show you that one. I know what we'll do with this one. We'll use this around the eyebrows, because I find that one quite hard. <laughs> what am I like? So this is my favorite brush at the moment. It's the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. I'm gonna sort of pat and swipe. Pat and swipe. Bend and snap. If we're going on night out, we're gonna bake a bit today as well, huns. Because we're going on a night out, do you know what I mean? We're not actually going on a night out, I'm actually in my pyjamas right now, I'm going to get changed, pretend I'm going on a night out. But this is what I would wear for a night out, and this is what I did wear for a night out. Not this jumper, but this makeup look. You know what I did the other day, Hans, right? I was going out to the shops, and I was going to go around to the post office to pick up some of my stuff from the Royal Mail. Even though we have a doorbell, but I never actually hear it go. The reason I like this is because it's angled, and you can get like right there. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, so I packed my bag and I know what I'm like, so I was like, oh my God, I've got to take my key. So I took my key and I put it in my bag and then I read on the back of the Royal Mail that it shuts at 1.30. So I was like, no, 
I was like, oh no. It was like three o'clock. So the 1.30 situation, we'd missed it. We definitely missed it. And just pat that in. So I thought, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Boots, go for a little walk, go for a little wonder, get a Starbucks and just get out of the house because it was a nice day. But me being me, I just thought, don't need the bag now because I don't need the Royal Mail stuff. I'm done. Walked out with no keys. I made such a conscious effort to put my keys in. Does anyone else do that? Honestly, it's not a day in the week I probably don't leave the house and think, I've forgotten something. I'll literally leave the house and be like, I've forgotten something, but I don't know what it is. Two hours later, figured out what it was. The keys, because I couldn't get back in. Let's get those under eyes a little bit bright. Just put this one. This is the NYX HD concealer in beige. I always go off on tangents, don't I, Hans? Always got a story. Always got a story. Probably got a few more up my sleeve, have I? Yeah. Did you actually just do that joke? Yeah, you did. Okay, let's go back in with this beauty blender and just get right up in there. You just want my attention. You don't want my heart. So true, isn't it? They always want the attention when you don't give it to them. And they always come running back when you don't want them anymore. Why? Why can't you just stick around when I wanted you? And then you come back when you're getting over them and they're all there. So like when you meet someone new and then all of your ex-boyfriends start popping out the woodwork, they're like, I don't want you anymore, you little woodlouse. Get back into the little woodens. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But do you know what I mean? They always come running back and you're like, don't want you anymore. I wanted you to love me then. Not now. Let's bake. Baking with Laura. Actually, should we bake with Laura? No, we're not going to bake with Laura today. We ain't going to bake with Laura today. Today we're going to bake with the RCMA no color powder. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take my no color powder. I'm going to get my old beauty blender. I'm going to stop talking like, probably not. Let's just pat this all under. I don't normally bake. I don't bake on a daily. But the reason I'm baking today, because if I want to go on a night out, I want it to lock in place. I don't want that moving. I don't want it budging. Okay, and then we're going to go... Down here. Get you, get you, get your head in the game. Get a get you, get you. Oh my god, I used to love High School Musical. Did anyone else? Put a little bit up here as well. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> All in the eyebrows. Thanks, Emma Jen. <sighs> Brilliant. Excellent. Everyone else does this when they're getting ready, don't they? I'm sure they do. While well, waiting for that to bake, I've got to play this song. Let me get it up. Oh my god, it's insane. This was three years ago when she sang this, but you know the song TLC, I'm Pretty? You need to listen to this. It's by Meron Addis. Every time I think I'm through, it's because of you. I'm just tripping. You can buy your hair if it won't grow. You can fix your nose. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. I'll link it below. I'm obsessed with her. I love finding covers of songs. But she's so talented. I love listening to like acoustic versions of old songs. And also that song's so true. How are you allowed to tell me I'm not pretty? Do you know what I mean? Don't ever allow someone to make you feel rubbish about yourself. There are so many people that will pick you apart, but be the one person that stands strong and goes, I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you say about me. That's one thing I really want to push to my hands. Like, just be confident in your own skin because then no one can take it off you. People try and push you down and break you. Try and let them break you, but just be like the Great Wall of China. We're gonna stand strong. We're gonna stand strong together. You can buy all the makeup that Mac can make, but if you can look inside you, find out who am I to be in a position to make me feel so. Okay, let's get back in business. We're gonna take the Morphe M438 and we're just gonna swipe off that bake. You don't even know. You don't even know. Do I say you know a lot? Yeah. I've said it since I was literally in year seven. Like, honestly, no, maybe not a bit older than that. Year 10. Year 10, I was going around to everyone going, you know. I have no new sayings. I just keep my old ones. Let's go back to the eyes. Let's go back to the eyes. Where's my eye brushes? Where are you chilling, baby girls and baby boys? Hun buns? Where are you at? Hello, angels. There you are, there you are. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go in with this shade, which I'm pretty sure is called Chickadee. So I'm gonna go in with my E30 Sigma brush, and we're gonna go into this yellowy, I'd say sicky shade, but I quite like it. I love this color, actually. It's so nice. And we're just gonna go under our eyes. Oh, actually, no, we're not. Imogen, are you all right today? Probably not. Okay, we're gonna get my M438, and we're just gonna drag our eye down. So this is a little top tip, here we go. It's not my top tip, don't know whose top tip it was, but it was a top tip from someone. And we're gonna go in with my Sigma pencil liner. This isn't very attractive to watch, is it, on buns? Also go up to the top bit there. Then we're gonna go into Chickadee and just go under our eye, building that color up, hun buns. Where are you at, baby huns? 
baby hand buns. Yes, I'm talking to my makeup brushes. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Okay, then I'm going to take my Sigma E55 and go back into our colour, Butter Cupcake. Just going to go underneath. This is just going to make your eyes pop. The reason I like this yellow actually is because it's not just for blue eyes. I don't even know what colour my eyes are. They're not blue. They change colour. But it's just going to make your eyes pop. Yes, to that yellow. And then if you go down too far, you can just swap it off like that. Limo, limo. A bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. Let's close that powder because I guarantee I'm that person that like looks at a powder or looks at like some water and I'm like, oh, that's going to fall over in a minute. But I don't actually change it. I like won't put the lid on. And then all of a sudden, swipe, gone. Like, do you ever leave a glass on the floor by your bed? I should definitely move that glass. But you don't move the glass. You get out of the bed and boom, see you later. Push the glass over. The glass is everywhere. Okay, so let's bronze up our face with MAC. Mineralized skin finish in dark. <coughs> so we love each other deeply, don't we, huns? I know I baked. But if you use a good primer, a really hydrating primer, if you've got dry skin like me, the bake shouldn't set into your dryness. Or, you know what I mean? It shouldn't look dry. That bronze enough? You never know, do you? To be fair, on a night out, let's just get bronze. Washing machines are on. Washing machines live longer with Calgon. Why'd you just do that face? Got the weirdest face, haven't I? I literally make so many different faces with it. I like it. It's expressive, like me, you know? I'm gonna take the No Filter NYX in Mahogany. Finishing powder, but I'm gonna use it to contour. With my new brush, my new brush! This is the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. Let's contour those cheeks, you know? Let's get those cheekbones pop and lock it. Let's lock those cheekbones to pop. What's the top three things you think I say the most? So I say, you know, Huns, and what else? The glow, all about the glow. Glow into the gods. Blow into the moon. Got an itchy nose, as per usual. Do you see that multitasking there? It's going like that. Itching my nose, which probably taking all that off. Brilliant. And we're going to take the NARS Copacabana and we're going to, I don't even know what, yeah, we're going to do this like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Then we're going to take my beauty blender, pat that on and watch this. Glow to everyone. When the glow is real, you've succeeded in life, really. As long as I'm glowing, I'm happy. You can see the glow. You can see the glow from there, Auntie. <laughs> don't act like you don't want to do it. It's not as enticing as Yama. <laughs> oh yeah, do Yama. I want to step into the ring with a little Yama. Can't do that. Can't do that. Like, we'll have to do it now. Honestly, Jacob's so good at impressions. When I do any impression, if I don't do it as good as him, he'll repeat it. I'm excited to use this, by the way. This is the Morphe M510. Also, by the way, Huns, comment below if you want Jacob to do another video with me, because we need to get Jacob back on the YouTube channel. Okay, so we're gonna spray this with the Mario Badesco spray. I like, oh, that actually went up my nose. I was just trying to smell the smell, but it went up my nose. I'm gonna take the Ofra Everglow. I'm so excited to use this highlighter brush. Jacqueline Hill recommended it. Go on, Jacqueline. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so nice. This highlighter is wonderful. So that thing is as nice as my Disney mug. Oh. JTP's got the cutest mug in the world. Look at it. Hansel, let down your hair. You did better than this one. Look how cute this one is. Can't even believe I'm talking about Disney when I'm, I'm trying to get the glow. Look at that. I actually think this is the shoppiest mug ever. It's amazing, isn't look it? Look at it. It's got Pascal. And look how shoppy she is. We can't talk too much about our favourite Disney film or Disney uh, princesses because me and Jake are going to do a video coming very soon about that. Yeah, because, you know, take off the best one. Oh, nice job. Get a tiny bit on our finger. My little finger is enough and just pat it there. You had the whole chance to say, I see the light. And at last I see the light. And it's like the glow is so real. And at last I see the light. And Rapunzel knows she glows. Oh, and it's warm and real. And Ofra Cosmetics. Shut up, Imogen, you little cringe. Or oh, you could have done the flower gleam and glow song. Flower gleam and glow. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. I forgot it. You just um, turned into bed. You actually Flowers just gleam and glow. Let your powers shine. Bring back what once was mine. What once was. That was such a good one, though. At last I see the light. Get it? Rapunzel is coming through. Okay, let's go to the gods. Okay, oh, okay. Let's take this one now, the Mario Badesco, just to get, oh, stop talking, just to get Imogen to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing when I'm spraying. We're gonna take the Morphe M530. Zero. <laughs> And we're just gonna go on our cheeks there and bring it into the contour. I'm really happy with this makeup look. I'm hoping you lot are. I'll go and straighten my hair in a minute and then get ready. 
get ready, kinda, you know what I mean? Okay, lips, we got three products for the lips. Let's go with the Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner because you know it's a favorite of mine. <laughs> okay, pat that one in, then, or hit your face. <laughs> Then we're gonna go in with this, and I'm obsessed with this lip. I'm obsessed with this lip. This is the Stila Olivia Color Balm Lipstick. It's a lip balm, but it's colored, and it's got menthol in it. So it's hydrating, really good for your lips, and it makes them a bit plump. So, Stila, sort of a girl out. You can just wear it with no makeup on, and it just automatically gives you a little color. They've got loads of different ones, Stila. Is it Stila or Stila? Whatever it is, Stila, girl. Stila or Stila? Is it Stila or Stila? <laughs> go back in with a lip liner. Favourite ever Disney character, go. If you had to say right now. You know. Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. Who's mine, go. Penelope or Baymax. Yeah, Penelope or Baymax joint. Okay, then we're going to go with the Butter Gloss, Madeline. Is that a hair on my lip? No. Does anyone just find random hairs, like on my mascara, on my lip glosses? Or is it just me, because I'm a dirty, too dirty to clean my act up. I always thought it was too dirty to clean my abdomen. <laughs> But she's not a little aunt, is she? If you ain't dirty, you ain't here to party. Ladies, move, gentlemen, move. I used to have this friend and she was operatic trained. Operatically trained? Theatrically trained. Oh, she was so funny, right? And every time we'd sing a song, we took her to France when I was younger, she was so funny. I would sing a song like Usher. I remember that one. What was it? Usher. It wasn't Climax. What it no, it wasn't Burn. It was yeah. Usher. Move these mountains. Gotta move these mountains. Honestly, George, you sit there and be like, I've got to move these mountains. Her voice is insane, but you know when you can't hear Usher singing like that? That's, that's like singing... It's like singing Chaka Ron in operatic song. Chaka Ron, yeah. Chaka Ron, Chaka Ron. Yeah. No, 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 no. Chaka Ron, Chaka Ron. Jacob's sitting there going like this. I wish you could see him. Last but by no means least, we're going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Then, I think we are... Good done. I'm gonna get changed, gonna brush my hair, straighten it, and I will get back to you in a mojo. I love you, I hope you like this look. This is the finished look, but I'll go get changed, then we'll do the finished look, you know. <laughs> Jane has got it playing, but I am ready. Oh, this is the finished makeup look. I literally bought this, and it's a swimsuit. Love this swimsuit. It's an actual swimsuit. I'll link everything below. I also teamed it with these massive black hoops, because you know. But basically, I went and straightened my hair, and what I did was, I straighten my hair with a comb because I like it dead straight when it's straight. And, well, actually, I was just going for this look. Sometimes I like it a little bit for flick at the end, you know? Flick. Bigger than it's bigger. Anyway, so I go down with a comb and I straighten, and then I go down with a comb and I straighten. And then, I have this little situation at the end of my hair sometimes where it flicks in different directions. I feel like it just wants to go that way, and that one wants to go that way, and that one wants to, you know? So basically, what I do is I spray hairspray on my hands, and I just go like this at the ends. Because I like this top bit to look glossy, but I like the ends to look slick and straight. So, this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you liked it. I really, really do because obviously I'm getting used to doing this whole makeup thing and I feel like I can grow with you. And if you do recreate this makeup look, then please tag me in it because I'm like, there's a million makeup gurus out there that are amazing. And I'm like, if anyone would actually recreate something that I do, that's insane. That's actually insane. When you actually watch these makeup tutorials, I'm like, wow. If anyone would actually want to watch them, that's amazing. I love doing makeup and sharing with you what I would wear on a night out and how I would go out on a night out and what makeup I'd do. So I get to share it with you and get to share new products with you and stuff like that so it's just amazing it's one big sharing thing so if you're new to my channel then hello my name is Imogen hello I love you all so much and I do this game on my channel where I mime a song I've got to do the song because I'm obsessed with this girl I'm obsessed with the song she's from the Disney channel originally I'm obsessed with the song it's ultimate I am literally getting over you hun bun like chow chow for now actually not just for now forever I'm so proud of this makeup look I really like it I need to go out now don't I baby boys would love this makeup look because it literally makes your eyes go what <laughs> This isn't a song, huh? I don't want a boy though, Charlie X. Yeah, sorry about you, hon. I want a man. I don't want a boy. I want a man.
whole time. I wish we could listen to music all together, don't you? Okay, so this is the end of the video. I really hope you liked it, Hans. Please give it a massive thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's a little butterfly. I think she's down there. She's so cute. It's got an eye in the middle of the butterfly. I'm a butterfly. So just before you go, I've got a shout out to do. And my shout out this week is actually just for all of you. Like my shout out is to all of you for helping me get to 100K. Like I can't explain it to you how grateful I am that you tell your friends, you tell your family. Like you've helped me in ways I never thought possible. And I hope that you can stay with me forever. So my shout out is to all of you. I love you all so much. I don't think you don't go unnoticed. I adore you with all my heart. Okay, so until next time, angels, I'm gonna love you. And I'm gonna leave you. Ooh, ooh. Stop. Just stop. Should I stop? Probably should. I'm not feeling that sweat right up on that forehead though. Not even a sweaty upper lip alert, it's a sweaty upper head alert. Sweaty upper forehead alert, you know? Sweaty upper lip alert, I love that. I've got a Sula from Wild Child, Wild Child.